Uh, hi, my name is Maher Lewis, and today I'm going to be showing you some plant production um, videos and uh, ready to begin. Hop down into my, my application here and we'll go ahead and get started. So you should see, I'm start sharing here, I've got my Tibble 3D open on the screen right now. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the corner of a, a much larger, one section of a much larger subdivision. If I back up here, you can see that I've got a fair amount of, of lots. I've got a lot of geometry that's going to be available to me on the screen. And what I want to do is I want to take and convey the utilities that make up this particular project. And in doing so, I'm obviously not going to be able to reference that on a single sheet. I'm going to have to take and tile this up in some sort to make it more manageable and easier to, to create a set of construction documents that people can take and work with. Now the process of me breaking these out and creating these layouts and generating different viewports and, and things that they can do that, that's a, a bit of a repetitive or, or manual process, a tedious thing for us to do, that we can use the concept of, of math books to take and assist us with. So what I'd like to do first, now that I've got my challenge, what I'm going to be up against, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take and create a map book template such that we can automate the process of breaking out our utility plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top, we'll say File, and then New. We're going to create a new drawing. I've got my template show up on the screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, in this case, just a standard AutoCAD drawing and name the plot style. It doesn't have to necessarily be a civil 3D template, because the main purpose for this math book template is going to essentially be just the layout of my layout tab that I'll be using for my math book. In this particular case, I'm using name plot style because the drawing that I'm, work that I'm working with is supports name plot style. So we'll go ahead and we'll say open. We'll wait for that to come up on the screen. That's it up. I've got a brand new drawing. I've got a couple of layout tabs on the screen here. What I'm going to do is come down to the bottom. I've, I've got layout two here. I'm going to delete that guy because I don't need the second one. I don't want to have that be uh, confusing for us. We'll come down to layout one. I'll select that and then display that on my screen. First thing, right out of the box, whenever I create a layout, I'm going to highlight the tab itself and we'll say rename and we'll give it something that's going to be more meaningful to us later. So we'll say utility. Plan. That'll work for us. And because I don't want anything to be magic, I've got a viewport that exists on the, sh the screen already. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that, and we won't worry about the one that's there. So let's do this. Let's start setting up our page. I'm going to right click on Utility Plan, and I'm going to come down to Page Setup Manager, and we'll start setting up the different values that we'll use for our page. So I'm going to come over and click on Modify. As far as my printer or plotter that I'll be working with, I'm going to leave that set to None. The sheet size that I'm going to work with, however, I'm going to take and set that to ANSI, we'll say 22 by 34. And some may be asking, well, why would I do 22 by 34 instead of 24 by 36? One of the things that I'm accustomed to with the plan sets that I created, we adopted a 22 by 34 inch um, sheet size, uh, if we reduced some of the, the open space or white space we had in a 24 by 36, but a 22 by 34 was something that could be easily reduced to a, a smaller, like 11 by 17 plan set without uh, having our scale um, come up strange. So it, it allowed us to go back and forth between different sheet sizes much easier. I'm going to take and set my name style or my pen assignments for this particular page. And I'll set it such that it displays those pen files when we move forward. And I'll go ahead and say OK. And we'll close out of the dialog. So what I'm looking at on the screen is I've got my just my standard 22 by 34 inch sheet. I'm ready to go. I want to start laying this out now that uh, I can take and use it for a standard sheet. So what I'm going to do, I've already got a block created here that I can work with. So I'm going to say Insert Block. And the block that I'd like to take and insert, I've got my border contents we'll be working with. We'll say open. I'm going to go ahead and insert that on the screen, and we'll take and explode it when it comes in for right now. So I have my different components. I'll just put that in at zero, zero. And when I get enter, my border comes in. Now, 
got a, if I highlight it on the screen here, I've got a border or a block that represents the, the border for my page. I've also got some other geometry listed where my key map is going to be. I've got a north arrow that's already put on the screen. It's basically the standard stuff that I would use normally. I don't want to take a walk through that for the, the sake of time. What I want to do is get right to the components that are going to make up our map block. So the first thing, what I need to do is I need to take and create a viewport for my main view. The main view, once again, is something that's not optional, it's required, so we have to add one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down my viewport tab here. We're going to go ahead and create a single viewport. I'm going to pick a point on the screen and then I'm going to take and open it up for what size I would like to take and display. Now something to keep in mind, in this particular case, my drawing is going to be, I'm going to utilize this for a 50 scale drawing. How big of an area do we want to view? So basically what we'll do is if I want to view 1,000 feet by 900 feet or 1,200 feet by 800 feet or whatever area we'd like to take in tile, that's the size of viewport we're going to make. We'll take those values, divide them by 50, and it'll tell us what we're going to take and work with. In this case, I'd like to create a, an area that I'll be looking at, you know, something standard. I'll do 1,000 feet by 900. So once again, if we do the division by 50 here, that's going to create a viewport that uh, 20 inches horizontal by, let's say, 18 inches vertical here. We'll hit enter, and I have my viewport on the screen. At the same time, I'm going to create one more viewport here for my my key map. As far as that goes, I'm not necessarily worried about uh, particular size or tile. I just want something that's going to look correct in the corner. And maybe what we'll do is once those have been created, I'm going to select those and go ahead and put those on my viewport layer so that I can control how they're displayed or if they should plot or what I want to work with. I might also, if I select this, I'm going to go into my properties here for my key viewport and just quickly set the color to uh, maybe 255 just so it's a little grayer on the screen 